Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a simple way to fix a leaky garbage disposal that's leaking from the bottom. Remember to unplug the disposal from the power. After that, we can now disconnect the dishwasher hose and the P-trap nut. Once we have all the plumbing disconnected, we can go ahead and take the disposal off the mounting bracket. I recommend having a tray or some sort of bucket to catch all the water runoff. Use a 5mm screw to remove 4 of the screw that holds the top cover and remove the top cover. Here, you can use a flathead screwdriver to help you remove the cover and expose the interior parts. Now you can see the top plate with the blades and the bottom plate that can get corroded over time. But before we can fix the crack, I recommend using a wire brush to clean the rust off and make sure there are not any more cracks anywhere else. And after cleaning it, I didn't find any other holes, so I think we're good to go to seal it. I made a quick trip to Lowe's and got this liquid weld epoxy by JB Weld. Mix the two parts together until you get a uniform color and then apply it anywhere you see damage on the bottom of the plate. Now really quick, I have a lot of extra epoxy and I use it all around to prevent future cracks. But make sure you don't apply too much of it to the side where you make it hard for you to put the top cover back on. I found out the hard way. I had to take my time with a blade to shave off the sides and it took so much of my time. So just make sure you don't repeat the same mistake as I did. Now it's time to remount the disposer. Make sure the three mounting tabs get mounted over the three mounting rims on the mounting assembly. Use a screwdriver to help you lock it in place. Now, all we have to do is retighten all the plumbing and the dishwasher hose and tighten the hose clamp. The other day, I asked a plumber why he was so tired. He said because the work has been too draining. Plug the power back in and run the faucet to test it to make sure there's no leak. Turn off the water and watch it closely. There should be no water leaking. And there you have it. A leaky kitchen disposal fixed. That saved us over $100 with this quick fix. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.